Um, we're glad to be with you here at the Tri-State uh, Jazz Society. We want to thank Sandy and Bill for inviting us to perform for you. And we're sorry we couldn't do it in person, but uh, it's it's been a weird time lately. So we're glad we're still able to hook this up and do this for you virtually. We're going to start off uh, today's show with a tune called All God's Children Got Rhythm. God's children got rhythm, folks. Thank you very much out there in TV land. We hope you enjoyed that, too. Uh, I want to introduce these uh, fellas to you here really quick so you know who you're listening to. On the clarinet and sax, that's Mr. Ricky Alexander. And on the trumpet here, Mr. Mike Davis. Back there on the bass fiddle, that's Mr. Andrew Hall. And uh, uh, here shouting at you on the microphone, my name is Glenn Kreitzer. I think I'm looking at the wrong camera. Look at that. There we go. That's the right camera. Hello. Ah. Ready for my close-up. Well, we're going to do a tune here by Fats Waller and Andy Razaf from 1932. And uh, this is a tune that's not one of Fats' most well-known tunes, but uh, but it gets played a lot, I think, in New York. It's kind of it's made the rounds in the last few years here, and we, we really like this one. It's called How Can You Face Me?
Thank you, everybody. How can you face me? A little Fats Waller and Andy Raz have for you there from 1932. Well, we hope you guys are having a good time out there. We're sure having a good time playing music for you here in New York City. We want to let you know we actually do this every Sunday. We uh, do a live stream every Sunday. We do a, a series called the Songbook Sessions. And what we're doing is we're going through the songbook of traditional jazz and American songbook, popular songs, Tin Pan Alley year by year so every week we play songs from a different year and uh we started with 1920 and we did uh we usually do it on sundays we did that stream yesterday because we're doing this one today but uh we were up to 1929 so next week's the songs of 1930 and uh we're really enjoying doing that every week we hope you guys will tune in and check it out uh there's a link at the bottom of your screen that uh we'll scroll through occasionally but uh on our website glennkreitzer.com slash live stream uh, you can learn more about that. Well, we're going to do a tune for you now from uh, Mr. Irving Berlin. And uh, this is a lovely tune here called A Pretty Girl is Like a Malady. A Melody. Ooh. A Melody. Ooh. Pandemic dose. <laughs> oh. uh, mm -hmm. F, right? Yeah, and I'll, uh, I'll play the verse. I have an ear for music, and I have an eye for a maid. I like a pretty girly with each pretty tune that is played. They go together like sunny weather goes with the month of May. I've studied girls and music, and I'm qualified to say a pretty girl is like a melody that haunts you night and day just like the strain of a haunting refrain she'll start upon a marathon and run around your brain you can't escape she's in your memory by morning night and noon she will leave you and then come back again a pretty girl is just like a pretty tune
Pretty girl is like a malady. What a lovely tune. Mr. Irving Berlin wrote that one. Well, let's see. Uh, we're going to go from Irving Berlin to uh, Hoagie Carmichael here for you. This is a great tune Hoagie wrote called Jubilee. Deep black. Someone's taking out the trash outside. Two boy flat? Boy flat. <laughs> Folks, Jubilee, look out. Well, we want to remind you that uh, it does flash up there at the bottom of your screen, but we hope you will uh, check out our friends at the Tri-State Jazz Society. I know many of you uh, listening on Zoom are our friends from the Tri-State Jazz Society, but uh, if you're out there and you haven't, you're, you, you've you followed us here and you're like, well, what's the Tri-State Jazz Society? Well, it's an organization down in southern uh, New Jersey and southern PA, down down in the Philadelphia area, down in that, that part of uh, Jersey and PA. And... Um, they host concerts typically, I think, once a month uh, uh, in person, live. Uh, I played one for them a really long time ago in person, and we were supposed to do one uh, this year, and, well, we're doing it online. But anyway, their uh, uh, website and their Facebook uh, uh, pop up at the bottom of the screen there, so we hope you will uh, 
check them out on their website and their Facebook and follow them. You can also donate to support the organization, which would be a cool thing to do. All right, well, we're going to do a little more Irving Berlin. We, I don't know how, but we ended up, we planned a lot of Irving Berlin here today. Uh, and uh, so I hope you like Irving Berlin because you're in the right place. And if you don't like Irving Berlin, you'll like him by the time we're done. <laughs> be loving you always with a love that's true always when the things you plan need a helping hand I will understand always always skies may not be fair always that's when I'll be there always not for just an hour not for just a day not for just a year but always Thank you, folks. Irving Berlin's Always. Now, Irving wrote that in 1926. Officially, he published it in 1926 as a wedding present for his wife, his second wife, Ellen McKay. Um, but originally, the, uh, the apocryphal story about that song is that in the early teens, uh, he was having a conversation with one of his uh, either business partners or colleagues from another publishing firm. And uh, there was a, a woman there who was like a, a secretary, and he Irving was bragging that he could write a song with anyone's, you know, any about anyone, right? And she was like, e even about me. And her name was like Paula or something like that. And he came back like ten minutes later with this scrawled out, "I'll be loving you, Paula." <laughs> and uh, then it went in the trunk. It became one of the infamous trunk songs that kind of just got stuffed away, uh, or you know, fragments of melodies and things and. In 1925, he got it out and he said, you know, that was a pretty good song. I think I could do something with that. And he got it back out and kind of reworked it. And that's why we have always a lovely, lovely waltz. Um, well, we're going to move away from the waltz here, well, the waltz tempo. And we'll go back into 4-4 four four for a great tune called The Glory of Love.
the glory of love, folks. Well, let's see here. What do I want to remind you guys about what's going on around here these days? Oh, uh, if anybody happens to be watching from Florida, our one in-person gig that's happening this whole year is happening in Florida. We're going to be there uh, in uh, on January 29th. So if you're watching this from Fort Myers, Florida, come join us. We'll be at the Sydney and Byrne Davis Art Center uh, playing a socially distant concert with, I assume, uh, everybody spaced out in this big concert hall. So that should be fun. Um, if you're not from Florida, you can watch us every Sunday online. We usually start at 2.30. And uh, you can uh, learn more about that on our website. Uh, we also do have down at the bottom there uh, uh, that will pop up our uh, recordings. We have, I think, like 10 albums out at this point or something. It's a lot of albums. Uh, and so we hope you will... Um, Check some of those out on our uh, website and, and get yourself some great music. This quartet that we're playing with is the very smallest band. This is the small band. We typically do um, uh, much larger groups. We've got a, a seven piece that we've got some recordings with. But uh, big band is really my main thing, doing Artie Shaw and Benny Goodman and uh, Count Basie stuff, but all, all pre-war, all from like the 20s, 30s, and 40s. And we do Paul Whiteman and Gene Goldcat and uh, all of that stuff. Uh, really love all of that stuff. So we hope when uh, we can actually get 15 people together in one room again that we'll, uh, we'll get to do that for you sometime soon. Well, we're going to do a tune for you now that is by, you guessed it, Irving Berlin. <laughs> I don't know how we ended up with all this Irving Berlin. That dude just wrote a lot of good songs. This is a song called How Deep is the Ocean? C minor? Uh, yeah, C minor. Uh, not too slow, but not too fast either. You know, as, one, as you do, as you do. What?
<laughs> How deep is the ocean, folks? Good old Oiving. <laughs> well, we're going to do a tune next for you here. I'm going to switch to my camera over here. I'm going to do a tune next for you here that is um, from uh, Kay Swift and Paul James. Uh, this is a tune from 1929. And um, these guys, uh, uh, Kay Swift was uh, George Gershwin's, I, I guess you would call, lover. Uh, so, so the story is. We don't know if this song is about George Gershwin, but uh, it might be. I don't know. But uh, it's a well-known tune. Uh, uh, many, many recordings of called "Can't We Be Friends." Thank you. 
Can't we be friends, folks? Uh, K. Swift and Paul James. Woo! Well, I think uh, I'm going to sing one here, folks, uh, for you. Hope you don't mind that. This is a tune that was uh, a big hit for Mr. Bing Crosby. I'm making myself a little glass of water here. Mmm. Mm. Tasty, tasty water. <laughs> Everybody loves a little water. <clears throat> All right. This is a tune uh, that was uh, written in the early 1930s, I think 31 or 32. I guess we'll know soon. Cause right. <laughs> we'll be getting to those years very soon in our songbook sessions, our weekly sessions. Um, the um, This tune is about... Uh, sort of all of the, the forgotten men from World War I, I'm going to put my water down here, uh, that when the Depression hit, were all out of work, and, and they were all saying, hey, you know, I, uh, I, I was, when you needed me, and when you needed me to work and to go fight and everything, I was there, and how, how come everybody's forgotten about me now? So uh, this is a great tune uh, from the early 30s, big hit for Bing Crosby called Brother, Can You Spare a Dime? Better one if you see. But the new the new stringness of these new strings is starting to wear off and that's awesome. Because they sound so bright when they're new. Ah, <sighs> alright. They used to tell me I was building a dream. And so I followed them all. When there was earth to plow or guns to bear, I was always there, right on the job. They used to tell me I was building a dream with peace and glory I had. Why should I be standing in line just waiting for bread? Once I built a railroad, made it run, made it race against time. Once I built a railroad, now it's done. Brother, can you spare a dime? Once I built a tower to the sun, a brick and rivet and lime. Once I built a tower, now it's done. Brother, can you spare a dime? Once in khaki suits, oh gee, we look swell, full of that Yankee doodle dum Half a million boots went slogging through hell. I was the kid with a drum. Say, don't you remember? They called me Al. It was Al all the time. Say, don't you remember? I'm your pal.
Yankee suits. Oh, gee, we look swell. Full of that Yankee doodle dee dum Half a million boots went slogging through hell. I was the kid with a drum. Say, don't you remember, they called me Al. It was Al all the time. Say, don't you remember, I'm your pal. Brother, can you spare a dime? Brother, can you spare a dime, folks? Woo! Speaking of sparing a dime, we hope you will uh, <laughs> check out those links at the bottom of your screen right there, folks, right down there. Uh, we've got uh, donations for the Tri-State Jazz Society, as well as you can pick up copies of our albums down there. Uh, that link will pop up. There we go. Um, that's our live stream link. You can learn more about our regular Sunday live streams. We also offer a subscription for our Sunday live streams for folks who want to tip the musicians uh, every week. What we do is we uh, actually... Every week we record the Sunday live streams, and then I uh, edit out all the talking parts in between, and I mix it professionally. We don't record the, the thing that goes out over the stream because that is a little too uh, – uh, it's not as good as like CD quality audio. What we do is record it locally in-house here, and then we produce uh, an, uh, an album every week from that, and folks who support the series uh, get a copy of that album. So we hope you will check that out and do that. Um, it's been a lot of fun. We've been learning a lot of stuff. We're like really digging in on like, you know, pulling out the sheet music for every tune, original sheets and going like, oh, actually he wrote this thing in that tune and, and all that stuff. So that's, uh, we've, we've been learning a lot and it's been a lot of fun. We've really been enjoying that. Um, so do check that out. You can do that. Glenkreiser.com slash live stream. Um, also make sure to jump on our mailing list and stuff while you're there on the website. And uh, don't forget to follow everybody on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube, uh, wherever you uh, social media eyes, whatever ones you do, uh, jump on Tri-State's Facebook page there and like them so you can see what they're up to. And uh, you can jump on our Facebook or our Instagram or our YouTube. Uh, they're all a lot of fun. All right. Well, I think we got time for about one more in the first set. I just want to introduce all these fellas to you one more time here. Uh, on the tenor saxophone and the clarinet, that's Mr. Ricky Alexander. And on the trumpet is Mr. Mike Davis. Back here behind me on the bass fiddle, that's Mr. Andrew Hall. <laughs> that's a very polite clap, <laughs> gentlemen. Very nice. That's good. It's like we're golfing here. It's great. And uh, here, here, shouting at you on the microphone. It's me. My name is Glenn Kreitzer. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, stop. No, stop. 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 All right. Uh, we're going to do one more tune in this set, and then we'll take a little break, and uh, we'll come back and play more songs for you. Uh, this is a tune from 1925? 25, I think. Yeah. Harry, 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 is this Harry Axe? This is Harry Axe, right? I'm going to say that name carefully. This is a tune called Dinah. Actually, we could we could do this in F. It'll be fine. It's a little better for me singing live. Okay. Great. You know. Want to get in the menu singing? No, I'm gonna sing the verse. Oh, great. All in or just you? Just me. Okay. Carolina, Gabriela, I'm the proudest one beneath the Dixie sun. News is spreading about our wedding. I hear church bells ringing. Here's the song my heart keeps singing. Dina, is there anyone finer in the state of Carolina? If there is, and you know her, show it to me, old oh, Dina. With your Dixie eyes blazing, how I love sitting gazing through the eyes of Dinah Well, every night, why do I shake with fright? Because my Dinah might would change her mind about me. Oh, Dinah, if you want me to China, I would hop an ocean liner just to be with Dinah Lee. <laughs> Thank you. 
Why do I shake with fright? Because my dynamite changed her mind about me. Oh, my <laughs> Folks, we will be back in a few minutes. I think we got. We're we're going to uh, we're going to take an intermission for about ten minutes. be love all right folks oh, yeah. welcome back to the second set glenn kreitzer quartet playing music for you here from new york city uh let's see what we got next here for you hey we're gonna do a little more hoagie carmichael for you this is a tune that uh 
So he wrote called New Orleans. Do you mind if we clap? Yeah, you want to sing at any point? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll sing in a second. Sure. And folks would sing. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> seen a quaint old southern city, just think of New Orleans. If you never seen that town, boy, it's a pity, there's nothing like New Orleans. It will remind you of an old-fashioned age, a glass of wine will reach your smiling face. And if you ever see a black-eyed gal like mine, for your ride in New Huggy Carmichael's New Orleans. All right. Boy, when you play two days in a row, it starts to feel really good. I haven't done that in a long time. Man, two days in a row playing music. Unbelievable. We did our regular Sunday stream yesterday. This is not product placement for Starbucks here. I'm just keeping myself awake. But uh, but if Starbucks wants to send us some money, uh, we'll take it. We did our regular... Um, Sunday stream, we moved it to yesterday. So this is our second day in a row playing, and we're like, man, it, it feels really good to, like, it reminds us of the old days when we used to all play together all the time, you know? It's great. Well, we're going to do a tune here that was a big hit for uh, Mr. Louis Armstrong in the late 1920s. This is the Big Butter and Egg Man. You gotta remember this one when we do our Easter set. So, let's get this one in there. Egg. Uh, 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 it's an excellent joke. Uh, <laughs> all right. G, right? Yes. Yeah. Or G? G. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Big butter and egg man. Yes. Wow. All right. Well, that was very eggful. Full of egg. I don't know. I got nothing. Uh, oh no. Oh. <laughs> really coming out of your shell on this one. <laughs> Mike Davis, folks. He'll be here all week. Try the veal. All right. Let's see here. We're gonna do a tune now that uh, uh, Bix recorded. We thought you'd like to hear a little Bix here. This is a song called I'm Coming, Virginia. Thank you. 
I'm coming, Virginia, folks. Woo! With that lovely Bixen Eddie ending there. Oh, doing my best. Doing my best Eddie Lang there. I don't know. That's a tough thing to do. <laughs> Good old Eddie Lang, man. Hmm. Well, let's see what we got next here. Hey, we got some more Irving Berlin for you. Before we do that one, uh, we just want to remind you, you can see down there at the bottom of your screen right now, the uh, tristatejazz.com slash donations. Don't forget to support Tri-State Jazz Society because they put on great concerts uh, all year round. Right now, great virtual concerts, but uh, great in-person concerts when, uh, when people can gather in person. And uh, make sure you support those guys because they're doing uh, great work and keeping, keeping performers like us working as much as we can be uh, during the pandemic. So thank you to you guys. Thank you to Sandy and Bill for uh, inviting us to, to play here today. Um, also down at the bottom of your screen there, uh, there's a couple of our links uh, where you can check out our recordings. That's glennkreitzer.com slash music. We've got 10 albums out with the small band, with the big bands. Uh, we got a Christmas album. If you're feeling Christmassy this month, I know some of you are feeling Christmassy already. <laughs> There's somebody out there that likes Christmas all year. Boy, is that for you, let me tell you. Um, and uh, also down there, we have info on our weekly live streams, which take place usually every Sunday. This week we moved to Saturday, so we could do this one today, but we'll be back next Sunday. Also, at every week, for those of you who are into history, uh, after our performance on Sundays, typically we host a chat on Zoom. And uh, I have a different guest every week. Um, that um, talks about some different aspect of history related to early jazz. Um, and uh, so I've had, uh, I've had a, a guest come in to talk about the history of vaudeville, someone who's an expert on that. Uh, I've had uh, folks in talking about collegiate bands of the 1920s. Um, we've had um, folks in, uh, we had uh, DeWitt Fleming was in a couple weeks ago talking about tap dance. So all different kinds of things that are related to jazz or about specific things with jazz. Uh, I think we have Ricky Riccardi coming up for one of those. That's going to be really cool talking about Lewis. He just put a new book out. So, um, But anyway, so make sure to check that out. You can go to glennkreitzer.com slash live stream uh, to learn more about that. Right now, we're going to play a little more Oiving Berlin for you. This is the tune that made uh, Mr. Berlin a big, famous composer. Uh, he had a, a small hit before this one in 1909 or 10. Uh, that was a tune called My Wife's Gone to the Country. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Thank you. Wow. <laughs> the, the rest of you got to work on your shtick. Hooray, hooray. All right. Well, um... What country? But <laughs> oh, no. Uh, anyway. Well, uh, but this was the, the, the one that really put them on the map. It's called Alexander's Ragtime Band. No. Uh, C and an F, yeah?
Thank you, folks. Alexander's Ragtime Band. Good old Evening Berlin. Yes, yes. Well, well. Let's see. Hey, we're going to do a little more Hoagie Carmichael. This is a very Hoagie and Irving heavy set today. We didn't really plan it that way, but it just came out that way. We just like those guys. I don't know. Um, everybody likes those guys. Everybody likes those guys. How can you, how can you not like Irving Berlin? Irving Berlin, when, when Irving Berlin wrote White Christmas, he showed up at his publishing house, uh, you know, the, the next day at work, and he said, I've just written the best song that's ever been written. <laughs> and, and everybody kind of laughed at him, and he played it for them, and they were like, oh, it's, it's a good song. And he's like, you, you'll see. It's going to be the most, it's going to be the biggest song ever. And then it was. Wow. <laughs> yeah. The best song wow. ever written. Wow. I had no idea. Yeah. It is a pretty good song. We're not going to play that right now. But we are going to play a Hoagie Carmichael tune that he wrote with, is it, this is with Johnny Mercer, and then I think it's with Johnny Mercer. Yeah, sounds right. Yeah, in 1939, I want to say. This is a tune called Heart and Soul. Three flat, right? We'll put this one in our, our fish set with the codfish ball. Heart and Soul. Oh, oh come on. That's all right, folks. We'll be here all week. Try to flounder. Oh, yeah. I'm floundering right now. Uh, as long as you don't play too many clams. Boy, it sure enables all our jokes to not hear the audience booing us. <laughs> <laughs> or the indifference. The indifference. All right. Heart and soul. B flat, right? Yeah. One. A one, two, three. <laughs>
heart and soul. Sorry, I forgot to switch the camera over from my solo, but I was busy playing all those changes. Woo, that's a lot of bridge, isn't it? <laughs> it's a lot of bridge, Hoagie. All right, buddy. A lot of bridge, buddy. Those of you who play that song know what we're talking about. All right, well, let's see here. Hey, we're going to do a nice tune from uh, Maceo Pinkard now from 1926. This is one of a bunch of songs called Sugar, and uh, we're going to play uh, the Pinkard Sugar. So let's all play that one. And uh, I guess let's play it in F because we're just in E flat. Just in case you didn't have enough 1625. But these ones are dominant, so it's different. <laughs> <laughs> different, different, different vibe. All right.
Oh, that was sweet. Wow, sugar. Yeah, there we go. All right. It's a lovely tune. All right. Well, now we play that one for you. I'm going to play a song about um, <coughs> Fat Swallower's favorite kind of whiskey. Oh, it's on. Oh, posterity. Oh, it's on. Oh, goodness. That's on. It's on. Oh, yeah. Always record for posterity. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we need to do more. I just want you to do it. You know? That's what I like. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Great. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. We're good. We're good. Okay. Mumbling amongst yourself. Mumbling. Mumble, 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 mumble. Well, we're going to do a tune here for you about Fats Waller's favorite type of whiskey called Old Grandad. They make rye also. They do. Okay. I, I thought it was a rye grain. My, gra my grandmother used to drink this. We, when I was young, we used to steal from her. She, she caught on, and then we started pouring water yes. into it. <laughs> she started putting a mark on it. Diet my brother was a little older, but we were probably 10 and 12. You put water, water, and old granddad. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'll set it up, and then I'll show Though he beats me to the floor Old granddad, my old granddad He's my pappy's pappy Who's the one that knows the tricks When I'm wrong, he gives me kicks Old granddad, my old granddad He's my uncle's father All my cousins, nieces, nephews Know that grand's the man You must act right, you must live right If you want to meet them in the promised land Hurry now it's getting late, better meet him at the gates. Old granddad, my old granddad. Granddad, he's my pappy's pappy. Who's the one that knows the tricks? When I'm wrong, he gives me kicks. Old oh, granddad, my old granddad, he's my uncle's father. All my cousins, nieces, nephews know that grand's the man. You 
must act right, you must live right If you want to meet them in the promised land <laughs> Granddad, all right. Wow, I like that tune. Well, let's see here. It is a few more o'clock. We have a little time here. No, I think we're here. Oh, we're two minutes here. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's do. Uh, um, let's see. Let's go up from there anyway. Let's do. Uh, um, uh, let's do that. Please don't talk about me when I'm gone. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to do a tune here for you called Please Don't Talk About Me When I'm Gone. Thank you, folks. Please, <laughs> please don't talk about me when I'm gone. Too much coffee. All right. Well, let's see here. What are we going to do next for you folks? Uh, 
Let's do uh, maybe a couple more, a couple more clock here. I think. Let's do a. Uh, 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 what do we do next? Let's do maybe a. Let's do a. Uh, uh, how about one of the ones we did a nice vocal on here? Maybe oh. one of those. Yeah. Let's do one of those. Maybe um. Mm, no, nah, we did that yesterday. I don't know what we did yesterday. Let's do a. Uh, uh, I wonder how the baby face. Let's do that. We'll do a nice sure. vocal on that. Or actually, no. Let's do one of the ones we do a little harmony on. That'd be nice. We haven't done those in a while. Um, what about a? Uh, we'll do harmony on that, oh, don't we? Oh yeah. No, what key do we use? We do A flat, right? Do we usually? B flat would be better. B flat. But a flat is your usual. All right. Well, maybe yeah, I'm fine. Buffalo. Yeah. Yeah. Show the world how to smile. I could be glad all of the while. I could turn the gray skies to blue if I had you. I could leave the old days behind, leave all my past. I wouldn't mind. I could start my life all anew if I had you. Sail a mighty ocean wide. I could cross the burning desert if I had you by my side. I could be a king, dear, uncrowned, humble or poor, rich or renowned. There is nothing I couldn't do if I had you. <laughs> Ending. Oh boy. I'll try to learn all those words for I next drama. time. Hey folks, if I had you. Between us we know all the words. <laughs> That's right, we do. Yeah, yeah. Mike knows some of them and I know some of them. And we just uh you know, we, we fake the we, we mumble. It's a lot of mumble. All right, well let's see. Let's play uh, uh um something a little uh medium -y. I think we got time for about eh, two, three more here. I think we started at four twenty, so it's about four fifteen. So let's get let's get two more in and then we'll We'll make it a day. So let's do something uh, medium here. How about a, uh, um, you know, let's play a good old good one. How about that? Let's All play. Right. Let's play pennies. <laughs> you bet. Good old good one. Yeah, pennies from heaven, folks. What yeah. here? I don't know. Let's do that. A. One. Yeah. Ooh. A, a major. major. A major, folks. Oh. We'll see you at the oh. end. Wow. 
And no, that's not a good key for guitar, if you're wondering. It's not a good key for anything. It's not a good key for anyone. Violin, maybe, but there good, you go. very good key for violin, yes. Yes. All the strings would be relatively happy with that. Yeah. Other than this. Mm. <laughs> one, two, a one, two, three. from heaven folks well I think we got time for one more tune for you here we want to thank you all for tuning in we want to thank our friends at the Tri-State Jazz Society uh, Sandy and Bill for uh, putting this together and uh, inviting us to be part of it and 
taken taken under the taken on the task of moving everything to online. We know how much that work work that is, you guys. So thank you for doing all that because we've done it too. So we know how much exactly how much work it is, and it's a lot. So I uh, uh, hope uh, everybody out there show them some love and some appreciation. Uh, you can donate to the Tri State Jazz Society by going to their website. Uh, website. Uh, the link will pop up on the bottom of the screen there in a minute. Um, uh, tristatejazz.com slash donations so uh, help them out and help them keep producing concerts um, down at the bottom of the screen I'm looking at the wrong camera I don't know why I'm doing that hey there we are hello uh, <laughs> uh, we are um, uh, also you can check out our live streams we live stream every Sunday we play different music every week and we're going year by year through the American Songbook so uh, we started in 1920 and this week we're going to be our 10th, 11th one, I guess, because we'll be on 1930 uh, starting this week. Lots of good songs from 1930 on the sunny side of the street and exactly like you. And yeah, lots of good stuff. Well, tune in for that. Uh, we play stuff you know and some stuff you don't know yet, but you'll discover you like. So uh, it'll be a lot of fun. Um, and uh, you can learn more about that by going to uh, our website, uh, glennkreitzer.com. Uh, slash live stream and that has all the info on the live stream we also hope uh, folks will consider subscribing to that because uh, what we do is we put out an album every week from the live stream uh, it all gets uh, you know edited and mixed and it sounds really great we record it locally here uh, in house so um, you know we're, we're doing 25 albums in 25 weeks if you can believe it and we've got 10 of them 10 of them in the bag now so we got 15 more to go you can still get in on this for a few more weeks we're going to close off subscriptions uh in a few weeks here but we hope you'll um we hope you'll jump in on it and uh, be part of it it's a really cool uh cool hang we also have a cool history chat afterwards uh you can also check out on our website uh we have recordings available let me get my water here uh, we have 10 different albums out now, I believe, something like that. So make sure to check our website for that, glennkreitzer.com slash music. And uh, that'll come up on the bottom of the screen. And, oh, there it is. Look at that. And don't forget, uh, you can also follow everybody involved with this on Facebook. Uh, Tri-State Jazz has a Facebook page. You can look them up. Uh, it'll come up on the bottom of the screen, too. Uh, we're on Facebook. That's Glenn Kreitzer Music. If you're on YouTube or Instagram, we hope you'll follow us on uh, YouTube. Uh, that's uh, uh, Glenn Kreitzer Music on YouTube or on Instagram, uh, just Glenn Kreitzer. And uh, if you can't spell it, it's okay. It's at the bottom of the screen. Sometimes I can't even spell it. Um, other than that, uh, I think we're going to play our last number for you here. Uh, we want to thank you guys for watching today. We hope, you'll, we hope to see you all again next Sunday for our live stream. It's 2.30 every Sunday. And we're going to close this out here with a 1936 Louis Armstrong tune called Swing That Music. Before we cut out and introduce these fellows again real quick, Mr. Ricky Alexander on clarinet, Mr. Mike Davis on the trumpet, and Mr. Andrew Hall back there on the bass fiddle. All right, here we go.
Thank you, folks. Swing that music. My name is Glenn Kreitzer. This is the Glenn Kreitzer Quartet. We want to thank you for tuning in out there. Thank you to the Tri-State Jazz Society. And uh, we'll see you all next Sunday right back here at 2.30. Total O. Okay. Thank you very much, Glenn and, and the band. That was a wonderful concert. Uh, really, uh, really appreciated that. Uh, I have one last announcement that uh, I'd like to uh, make. I, I should have made it earlier, but I forgot about it. It's, it's, it's rather important. The, uh, the concert that you've just uh, participated in was made possible in part by funds from the Camden County Cultural and Heritage Commission at Camden County College, a partner of the New Jersey Jazz Council of the Arts. So in addition to sponsorship by our members, our donors, we also have sponsorship for this concert from Camden County Cultural and Heritage Commission. We all thank you very much.